India, an ancient country known for its diversity and vast culture. Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, the two states of India where Mushar community mostly live. The word Mushar has been derived from Moose, a local Bhojpuri and Sanskrit word, which means rat. Mushars were traditionally rat catchers and supposed to eat the flesh of rat. Earlier, their meals were dependent on the availability of rats and grains that they procure from rat holes, but this activity has been abandoned. Now, the Mushar community is mostly the landless labors. Though the origin of Mushars are not clearly known, some people try to link it with Upanishads and Vedas to give justification. There are two very interesting stories we have in Hindu mythology. According to one, when God created the first man of each caste, he gave a horse to ride on and a tool to work with. Each one mounted their horse except the Mushar, who started to dig hole in the belly of the horse, where he could place his feet as he rode. God punished him for his foolishness and declared that his descendants would live on rats. Another belief is that the Mushar licked the leaf plate from which God had eaten from, at which he said, these are low people who shall always lick the plate. Therefore, they have been degraded ever since. People from the Mushar community are deprived of owing property, means of livelihood and education. For their survival, they work as agricultural laborer or do stitching leaf plates, wage labor in industry or work as laborers in big guns. The remuneration for such work is given in kind mostly discarded food or grains. They also feed pigs and other animals to get some extra income. <coughs> they are weak on economic front as they get their earning by working in someone else's field and own no land. They get a job only in running seasons and in off seasons they earn money from stitching and selling the leaf plates. So they could not save money for their family and future. Mushurs mostly live in small huts and they face adverse conditions in rainy season. बरसात में ही दिक्कत है चाचे लड़की लड़का लेके सुतीला रात भर पानी बरसाला रात भर हम सब छोपीला हम तन को सांस नहीं रहा था रात भर पानी छोपल जाला इन द सिचुएशन वेयर मुशहर फादर एंड मदर वर्क द सन आल्सो गिव अप स्टडी वेरी अर्ली एंड वर्क विद द पेरेंट टू अर्न सम एक्स्ट्रा इनकम some of the children never go to school and some who attended the school have to face the dirt of discrimination. According to Human Rights Watch report, teachers often address poorer students using derogatory terms such as dirty. This report finds that discrimination takes various forms including teacher asking Delhi student to sit separately, making insult remarks about uh, Muslim and tribal students. But the situation is changing for the Mushars after the intervention of PVCHR. Now Mushar children are going to school and sitting with all the other. PVCHR also gave financial support by giving them scholarship. Most of the Mushar suffer from some diseases such as malaria, kalazar and the most severe form of ishmaniasis are prevalent. When they used to go hospitals, they were ill-treated and sit separately. But by the intervention of PVCHR, they know their rights and behave likewise. Malnutrition is also very common among mushers, but in the adopted villages, not even a single child is underweighted. 
Busher community largely depends on public distribution system PDS to get food grains at subsidiary rates but due to corruption they are denied of the food grains in the villages in this situation PBCHR helped them and now PDS licensee cannot skip or ignore them in some of the villages they get extra food grains as loan in the occasion like marriage in the family पहले इनको लाल राशन कार्ड से भी नहीं जोड़ा गया था कोटे पे इनको सामान भी नहीं मिलता था पूरी बस्ती में अंधेरा था झड़ यहाँ पे काफ़ी कूड़ा करकट ये सब इकट्ठा होता था रात में विशैले जानवर निकलते थे इन्हें मिट्टी का तेल भी पूर्ण रूप से नहीं मिल पाता था काफ़ी लड़ाई के पश्चात इन्होंने अपने आप को खड़ा किया और इन्हें वो राशन कार्ड वगैरह से जोड़ा गया और जहाँ कोटे पे इन्हों इन्हें मट्टी के तेल में केवल एक लीटर आधा लीटर दे के भगा दिया जाता था पूरी बस्ती में अंधेरा रहता था अब वहीं पे इन्हें मानक के रूप में मिट्टी का तेल और मानक के रूप में राशन मिलता है पी वी सी एच आर हैज गिवन दम कॉन्फिडेंस टू फाइट फॉर देयर राइट एंड यूनाइट दूल कम्युनिटी एंड थ्रू पब्लिक मीटिंग पी वी सी एच आर इज स्प्रेडिंग नॉलेज अमंग दैम बिफोर मुशहर्स सेल्डम टॉक टू अदर्स नाउ they are talking for their equal rights and the status in society kahi nahi kahi nahi yatna ab aur nahi kahi nahi kahi nahi yatna ab aur nahi kahi nahi kahi nahi they used to believe in spirit and practice exorcism but by the efforts of pvchr they are moving from exorcism to medical practice to cure them. the literacy rate of pushers is extremely poor at 3 to 6% and for females it falls under 1 to 0% due to illiteracy and ignorant of the law they have to face police torture very frequently cops often catch mushers and put in jails in fake cases not only this but the females of the musher community are also ill treated by the cops सामाजिक ढांचे में महिलाओं का श्रेणीकरण अगर स्त्री और पुरुष के रूप में देखें तो वैसे भी महिलाओं की स्थिति बहुत कमज़ोर है और अगर जाति व्यवस्था के रूप में देखें तो चौथे पायदान से भी श्रेणीकरण में मुसहर महिलाएं बहुत नीचे की स्थिति में हैं उनको एक तरीके से अछूत के रूप में अछूत की तरह उनके साथ व्यवहार किया जाता है अब जब एक वर्ग एक तबका एक जाति अछूतों की तरह जिंदगी जीने को बाध्य है ऐसे में कोई भी उनके लिए कानून उनके लिए कोई भी योजना उस तरीके से एक नागरिक के तौर पे उनको नहीं मिल पाती जो दूस समाज के दूसरे लोगों को मिल पाती है बड़े नंबर में ये घटनाएं दिख रही हैं कि पुलिस भी उनके साथ न्यायिक व्यवस्था भी जो एक न्याय व्यवस्था का एक प्रतिनिधि पुलिस और थाने को जो बनाया गया है क्षेत्रीय स्तर तक जनता की पहुंच तक वहाँ उन लोगों का व्यवहार भी बहुत जात पात को मानते हुए रहता है और बहुत ज़्यादा उनके साथ भेदभावपूर्ण व्यवहार किया जाता है जबकि कानून इसकी इजाज़त नहीं देता एस सी एक्ट और बहुत अलग अलग कानून चौथे श्रेणी के नागरिकों को बराबर का दर्जा दिलाने के लिए बनाए गए हैं उसके बावजूद पुलिस भी इस विचारधारा से थाना भी इस विचारधारा से प्रभावित होते हुए इन महिलाओं के साथ सभी के साथ वो मुसर समुदाय के सभी के साथ इस तरीके का व्यवहार दोयम दर्जे का व्यवहार करती है और जब उनके साथ जब जाती है उनको धरने पकड़ने चाहे उन्होंने अपराध किया हो नहीं नहीं किया हो बहुत सारे अपराध उनके ऊपर ज़बरदस्ती थो थोपे जाते हैं उनको नामजद कर दिया जाता है जब भी उनको पुलिस पकड़ने जाएगी तो कभी भी डी के बसु गाइडलाइन का प्रयोग वो नहीं करती हुई दिखाई देती है बल्कि उनकी महिलाओं के साथ बहुत भयानक हाथ से मार पिटाई की घटना और कई बार ये कहना यहाँ पर गलत नहीं होगा कि उनके साथ यौनिक हिंसा भी पुलिस करती हुई करती दिखाई देती है इस तरह के बहुत सारे टेस्टमनी हम लोगों के सामने आए कि जो कमज़ोर तबका है मुसहर है नट है धरकार है या आदिवासी जनजातियां हैं उन महिलाओं के साथ पुलिस ने यौनिक हिंसा भी छेड़छाड़ की घटना भी की तो ये बहुत बड़ा दिखाई विसंगति है कि जहां कानून का रक्षक उनको बनाया गया है कानून के रक्षा करने के एक प्रतिनिधि निचले स्तर तक हैं वो लोग ही कान उल्टा कानून तोड़ने की गतिविधि में इन्वॉल्व हैं और वो सिर्फ इसी वजह से है कि इन इस 
जाति और ऐसे सभी आदिम जनजाति ऐसे सभी जो एस सी के समुदाय के लोग हैं उन लोगों को सामाजिक व्यवस्था में चौथे श्रेणी में रखा गया है और पुलिस भी उस व्यवस्था को चूँकि ये भी उसी समाज से निकले हैं उस व्यवस्था को आगे कायम रखना चाहते हैं इसलिए बार बार इनके साथ इस तरीके का व्यवहार करते हैं People's Vigilance Committee on Human Rights working for the welfare of the community since last 10 year in Uttar Pradesh. PVCHR is adopting the Mushar villages and helping them out to get their basic rights. PVCHR has already adopted more than 50 villages in Uttar Pradesh and transforming it into model village. In the adopted villages, Mushars are having brick houses under Indira Awas and Lohia Awas Yojana. and where not pvchr is working for that there was a time when they did not know about light and fans today in their own brick houses they are enjoying the solar system and fans it's all about the effort of pvchr which has helped them to break the shackle band karo band karo band karo They are the living in the forest because for two reasons. Uh, maybe there, if you are going to understand the anthropology, the one reason is that uh, that time also they are fighting against caste system, so few people run away into the forest. And uh, and also in the British time they they were fought against the British colony, so they are going here and there. And due to that also they are living on the uh, <coughs> in the forest. but the most important thing they are the most marginalized people and in the up they are not declared as a tribal they are declared as a pseudo caste uh, so there is a and if you look here this is the most important thing is the no caste effect because without security there is no development if you are not providing the security from border neighbor violence or police torture what is happening that creates a fear and phobia and that and fear and phobia Uh, creating uh, the problem of the participation in the development process so that is the biggest problem so government brought a lot of scheme corruption is one hand but the most important thing is because due to the fear and phobia there is due to the culture of silence um, they did not participate in that so if you are broken uh, just like a sarai village if you broke the culture of silence if you broke the um, eliminate the violence Uh, no police torture and all. They started to participate in the schools, development schemes, and um, because everybody want to good life, uh, but uh, they are fear with uh, 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 with the security. Uh, if we have the uh, middle class people, we have very good food, very good uh, life, everything. But always the war. Then uh, we are not going to participate to that. Same way the caste system. And put um, uh, put the mind of caste and the caste system and the patriarchy put put these people into the situation of violence, and that is the biggest problem. If you are eliminating from situation of violence, they are going to fight back corruption, also societal corruption, as well as the administrative corruption, and that creates the development. And Sarai is the absolute uh, example of that. And there is another village, Sakra, another village, uh, the Musar Sakra. Look, uh, uh, now that we are giving scholarships, not only the Muslims, other other backward community, and also the upper caste, landless upper caste, they have no money. We are supporting mostly mostly the girls, higher education. Why we are providing the uh, scholarship for the girls? Because if you educate the girls, she is going to perform uh, in their own home, and if she is going to another home. Uh, see, educate to the children. So that is very, very beneficial for the democratic development. And um, and the second important thing, uh, we are going to create the cadre of Mushar's uh, people. So we will fight back, and uh, we are going to write some stories. So policy maker will understand the problem of the Mushar, not only Bihar, also in uh, here. And uh, we are going to support uh, sustainably uh, our programs. Uh, and in the future, in four five years, we are looking. They will, they will, they will lead their own.
अपने लिए जिए तो क्या जिए अपने लिए जिए तो क्या जिए तू जी ऐ दिल जमाने के लिए अपने लिए जिए तो क्या जिए अपने लिए जिए तो क्या जिए तू जी ऐ दिल जमाने के लिए अपने लिए जिए तो क्या जिए हिम्मत बुलंद है अपनी पत्थर सी जान रखते हैं हिम्मत बुलंद है अपनी पत्थर सी जान रखते हैं कदमों तले जमी तो क्या हम आसमान रखते हैं गिरते हुए को उठाने के लिए गिरते हुए को उठाने के लिए तुझी ए दिल जमाने के लिए